Hey everyone, it's Jack the Eddie here, and I'm coming at you with a video today on how to set up alerts and events for your live broadcast using the Streamlabs service. Now just a quick note, there are multiple different types of services that you can use out there to set up alerts and events. I personally have found Streamlabs to be the most straightforward and the easiest to use. So I'm really excited to show you guys how to do this. It's compatible with Twitch and YouTube. Um, you can integrate it into various different softwares such as OBS, XSplit. I use the Elgato Game Capture Stream Command, so I'll be showing you how to put it in that. But this video definitely still applies to people who use OBS and XSplit, so stick around for the setup. Now let's hop right in. First thing you're going to do is navigate to streamlabs.com and you're going to have to authenticate your YouTube or Twitch account. And after you log in, you're going to be brought to this page. And immediately you can see how beautiful the Streamlabs service is. So let's go ahead and hop into the real meat of this video and start customizing our alerts. Now go ahead and click on alert box and you're going to be brought to a page. A quick overview, it shows you how to integrate the alert box into your stream software, how you can get previews of the alerts for testing. I haven't used media sharing and won't be covering this video, and then you have the actual alert settings. Now, underneath the how to, you'll have this lovely URL. This is basically a web page that generates the alert when someone interacts with the broadcast site that you've logged in with, whether it be Twitch or YouTube. Now I went ahead and logged in with YouTube, so when we go down to the alert settings, what shows up might be a little different for you if you logged in with Twitch. And for you know YouTube, there's donations, subscribers, there's sponsors, there's fan funding events. But for Twitch, it might be followers, subscribers, donations, and you know other things like that. But the same still applies in terms of setup. So why don't we go ahead and set up a subscriber alert? First things first, if you want an alert, you gotta enable it. If you don't want it, you can hit disable, then it, it won't show up uh, if you don't want that kind of alert. You're limited to three basic layouts where you can have an image on top of text, text overlaid on top of the image, or an image beside the text. Now, they also do some alert animations where you see them like, you know, slide in and out, bounce up and down, things like that. They have a pretty good selection, so you're not limited to just a few. And a quick note here, if you pick one type of animation like sliding up, you do not have to pick, you know, slide down. Um, you can do slide in up and bounce out, things like that. So you can really customize it to what you want and tailor it to your audience, whatever you think looks good, which I think is really cool. And it's super easy to do here. The next thing is to actually write the message that you want to show up on your alert. For me, I have the person's name, became a yeti so if george subscribed to me it would show up on the stream george became a yeti the next bit is a text animation if you want to add one more step of pizzazz you can add a text animation you know make the word wiggle make it wobble make it bounce a little bit when it when it comes up whatever you guys think looks good this next section is really where you can drive home the customization this section gives you the ability to upload a custom image and a custom sound for you to really engage the audience, really define your brand here. And I think this is what Streamlabs does such a great job with, is just making it so easy to do that. So as you can see here, I've gone ahead and updated an image of a banner with my Yeti logo right next to it. And you can do the same. They give you a small amount of space so you can update some art to really make it feel custom. And it's it's really generous of them. And you can do the same exact thing with the sounds. If, if you guys have a custom sound, like a ka-ching, that you wanna, wanna play when someone donates money, a woohoo if someone subscribes, you guys have the ability to update with images and sounds. Now another cool thing is if you don't have custom art or if you don't have sounds or you don't know where to get that stuff just yet, they actually offer pre-existing GIFs and images and sounds for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at their library. Here they have a bunch of sounds. Here's a bunch of images and GIFs right off the right out of the gate. So you can customize right away. Now just moving down the page, there's a couple more settings that you can make to, to feel more custom. There's sound volume, alert duration, text delay, things like that. And then finally 
there's font settings. And the font settings basically is just what font do I want? How big do I want the font to be? Do I want it thick or thin? What's the text color? And then the text highlight color is the is the actual name of the person. That's the part that's highlighted. So you can make them stand apart. But you can make that a separate color. So now that you have your alert saved, why don't we go ahead and see what it looks like? So I'm gonna go back up to that URL and hit the launch button right beside it. And it's gonna bring up an empty box. Now don't be alarmed. It's not bad. That doesn't mean your alert doesn't work. This is literally just the empty shell of your web page that's been generated for whenever someone interacts with your Twitch or your YouTube account. I'm gonna relaunch it here again. And why don't we go ahead and actually test it. So you test it under the alert previews and let's go ahead and test the subscriber alert because that's what we just created. Hit the button and there's our alert. Beautiful, beautiful, awesome guys. Like I can't express how easy it is to set up. So now you can go back and do the same for all of your different alert types. Tweak and tune until you get what you want and save it out each time. It'll update and then test the alert. So let's go ahead and hop down to an event list. Now, the reasons I like the event list are because it leaves people who interact with your stream up inside the stream window for an extended period of time, whereas an alert, they only might appear for however many seconds you set the alert to. This is nice because if someone donates, then, you know, Carl will donate X amount of dollars and Carl will be up there until more events come in and push him down. The other cool thing with this is that you can set how many events you want to appear. I have three set up right now, but if you have, you know, a greater number such as five to ten, then more users will have their name plastered up on your stream for longer, and other users will see what kinds of actions they're taking, and it might motivate them to also do the same. So that's why I really like the event list. Now, quickly, you'll be able to see that this generates a specific URL, just like the alerts, and then also below, there's a whole bunch of different settings that we'll dive into. There's a whole bunch of different settings that you can utilize to customize your channel, such as fonts, colors, themes, different things like that. Tweak and tune to what you want, save it out, and then go ahead. we're gonna go ahead and test that alert in the, um, we're gonna go ahead and test that event in this launch box. Boom, right away you can see, and it's that easy you have an event list now and you can see the latest and most current events rolling in as people subscribe as they donate sponsor whatever you have set up on your account right now so guys that's it for the streamlabs portion if you guys thought this was helpful please leave this video a like we're going to keep on going and i'm going to show you how to integrate it into the elgato game capture stream command software if you folks are using things like OBS or XSplit, feel free to stick around. The directions won't be exactly the same as I know the softwares are very different. I won't be covering it, how to integrate specifically, but I do know that adding a web page or a URL is somewhat similar. So if you guys want to stick around and view that, that would be awesome. So as you can see, I have the Elgato Game Capture Stream Command software set up. You can see I have my different scenes, with my webcam, my donation goal, and I have my event list and my current sub goal set up all right there. So to edit this scene and to add the new alerts that I just created, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit the edit scenes button on the bottom right there, right below where you see the window preview. And I'm gonna, there we go, I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna hit the plus button and add a web URL. Now go back to Streamlabs and copy the URL for your event list or your sub alert, your uh, alert box. Copy that, paste it into the web page and hit add. And then hit save scenes and you'll see there's the new event list that we had just created. Now you're seeing two here because I just added a new one for the purpose of this video. Guys, if you thought this video was helpful, please leave me a like. If you guys have any questions, please put them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and as always, Yeti Tribe, love you guys. Bleh.